<laughs> yep, the matchup is set now. The Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs are officially heading to the Super Bowl. Chris Hayre joins us now to break down the conference championship matchups. And Chris, I watched both games. The Eagles dominated. Kansas City looked a little, sh I mean, that game was really tight. When you look at, though, people trying to bet on who's the underdog, there's really no underdog here right now. No, Jamie, these are the two best teams in football, bar none. Both won 14 games this season, both the number one overall seeds. I guess you could argue maybe the Eagles are a little bit healthier at this point. We, we saw what Patrick Mahomes did to just gut out that victory over Joe Burrow and the Bengals. Uh, you also heard that Travis Kelsey wasn't quite 100%. But good thing with the Super Bowl, Jamie, is you have two weeks. So we'll go through all the storylines, and but it also gives these guys an opportunity to rest up and get ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, Mahomes is going to need the rest. He looked really shaky walking off the field. They were excited for the win, but it could be trouble. It, it could, and the, the two weeks should help a little bit, but, you know, with those high ankle sprints, those are things that, that linger. And then you, you look at what the Eagles were able to do. Really, it wasn't a fair fight. Brock Purdy got hurt. <laughs> the, the, the Niners were down to their fourth quarterback of the season, but uh, Philly's been dominant on both sides of the football all year long. And this is cool, too, Jamie, because Andy Reid faces his former team. He spent 14 seasons with the Eagles, went wow. to five NFC championships, went to a Super Bowl. Uh, we know his Hall of Fame credentials speak for themselves. He's going to Canton. But could you imagine beating your former team to win your second Super Bowl? That would be something. I mean, it I'd feel great about it, <laughs> you know? And I know one of the storylines you're following, too, we were talking about a little bit earlier, the, the brothers playing each other now and what that household's probably going to be going through. Well, it, it's something we've never seen before. We've never seen two brothers go head-to-head -head in a Super Bowl. And like I said to you earlier, it's not like these guys are practice squad guys or second or no, third stringers. No, they're great. These are, these are all pros. You know, Jason Kelsey, really a heartbeat of that Philly offense and, and what he's done to make Jalen Hurts and, and company go. And then Travis Kelsey, his numbers speak for themselves, the best tight end in football. Um, those guys are hilarious, too. They have a podcast called, I believe it's called New Heights, where, where they talk every single week about just the week that was. They've had Mahomes on their podcast. They've had Jalen Hurts on the podcast. <laughs> but now it's a little bit different. Jason Kelsey tweeted last night that he's no longer a Chiefs fan. So it, it's going to get real here in the Kelsey household. Um, it sounds like you have some big Chargers news potentially for us. What's going on? Yeah, NFL Network just broke this. Kellen Moore, the former offensive coordinator for the Dallas Cowboys, is expected to be the Chargers' new offensive oh. coordinator. And this is a big, big development for the Chargers. You're looking for that guy who can really make Justin Herbert go um, as he enters this new phase with the Chargers where he's undoubtedly going to get a new contract. Uh, Kellen Moore uh, parted ways with the Cowboys, but... He has had a, a track record of success with the boys, with Dak Prescott and developing him, but also yeah. the running game. And I think that's what the, the Chargers have been lacking is that, that one-two punch in the backfield in terms of running the football to help Justin Herbert. So I'm sure we'll have much more Sports Central tonight, but that just broke NFL Network. Kellen Moore expected to be the Chargers OC. Yeah, you can't put all the pressure on the quarterback all the time. Chris, thank you for that. Appreciate it. You got it.